Just recently, I visited the birthplace of one of the great Acharyas of India, Ramanuja. I went there in Sri Purambudar, near Kanchipur and Chennai, because this year is his 1,000th birthday. So before the year ended, I really wanted to go and be with him. His successor was named Parasara. I'd like to tell a little story about Parasara. When Parasara was five years old, living in Srirangam, which is the largest temple in all of India, even today. One day, a Digvijay Pandit, a great champion of logic and grammar and philosophy, who traveled throughout the whole of India, challenging scholars to debate. Now, this is over 900 years ago. Debate was the sport of India. Cricket and soccer, nobody cared. But debate, because people had a different consciousness in those days. If you were a champion debater, you were better than a Bollywood star, better than the topmost politicians, and better than a cricket star. So this man, he gained so much wealth, so much fame. He had four strong men carry him in a decorated palaquin from town to town, to city to city, to Tirta to Tirta. He had marching bands in front of him. He had Brahmins chanting mantras and slokas and stotras. And there would be a loud challenge. There is no question that Pandaji cannot answer. So as he was coming through the town, all the scholars were running away because they were afraid he may challenge them. Little Parasara, five years old, ran up to him and said, Sir, I have a question for you. He looked down from his palaquin. He said, I am the champion scholar of the world. You are just a child. Get away from me. Parasara said, but I have a question for you. He said, your mother's milk is still on your lips. Out from here. Debate is serious. The little boy said, if you're enlightened, then why are you making so much emphasis on the size of my body? I'm not my body. Please answer my question. He said, what is your question? The little boy picked up a handful of sand and held it right up to the face of the pundit and said, tell me, sir, how many grains of sand are in my hand? <laughs> he was never asked a question like this. He was speechless. He had no idea how many grains of sand were in his hand. <laughs> he was so speechless that a crowd of people came around. They never saw him like this, even his own followers. Then little Parasara spoke. He said, sir, a person who has knowledge, real knowledge, sees the presence of God in everyone's heart. Such a person is like a tree with good fruit. 
If a tree has a lot of good fruit, the tree bows down. If a tree has no fruits, it doesn't bow down to anyone. If you don't have respect for others, if you're not humble before the greatness of God, then I considered all of your knowledge to be as worthless as this handful of sand and threw the sand down. Coming from a tiny five-year-old child, it pierced his heart to the core. He came down off of his palaquin and bowed to the feet of this small child. And with tears of humility in his eyes, he prayed, I want to be your disciple. And he became a disciple. <laughs>